Junior and our lone female participant in the Geico PBA Team Shootout, Missy Parkin. Missy, with your win at the Queens, you are clearly supposed to be here, but is it a little bit of intimidation going against all these guys? Absolutely not. I'm actually used to bowling against men uh, throughout my career. So, no, I, I take it as just, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun and I'm going to bowl good. So, Girl power. Good luck to you today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bowling for 900 Global, Missy Parkin and Michael Haugen, Jr. Haugen, Jr., living in Carefree, Arizona. Does some collegiate coaching on the side. 14 years on the tour. Two tour titles. It'd be a great city for you to live in. Kind of match your lifestyle. How's that? Carefree. I heard that guy moving that chair. I couldn't stop. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. And Missy's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? now? Convert the 467? It's never been done, I don't think, on television. Although I did see Walter Ray make the big four once, and this would be kind of like that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't leave you much. <laughs> That's all she could do is get count. Bowling for Team Ebonite International, Mika Koivuniemi and Mike Fagan. So the reigning PBA Player of the Year, the Big Finn, Major Mika. Mika Koivuniemi will step up. Nine career tour title victories. One of them coming last season at the Tournament of Champions. His teammates and coach look on. There's Chris Barnes and Tommy Jones. Jason Couch coaching Ebonite International and great start from Mika. Hey Rob, how about a little know the wood? Sounds good. Brought to you by our friends at Lumber Liquidators. All right, 39 foot Tournament of Champions oil pattern. We've seen the players attack this a couple of different ways based on your strength. If you're a straighter player, hey, pipe it straight up second arrow. If you like to hook it, move in, find that heavy oil and wheel that bowling ball to the right. Watch it hook back. Lots of strikes to be had on this 39-foot oil pattern. And this is our first look at Mike Fagan, native of Patchogue, New York, on Long Island. Currently resides in Dallas, though. Let's go, Mike. Oh, Mike. Hi, Mike. Good job. Such a fun swing to watch when oh, it's dialed in. Oh, he's very entertaining, not only on the lanes, but off as well. But I love that form, that Gumby-like looseness in his arm swing and a boatload of hand at the bottom of the swing. So Haugen Jr. Stepping up in the second frame, had a rough shot and didn't give his partner, Missy Parkin, much to work with. Here he is in the second. Come on, get up. Yes, much better result. And just like we talked about in the Know the Wood segment, Michael Haugen Jr. Playing to his strengths, which is down the lane, up the boards. See that right in between first or second and third arrow? And a great result. So his teammate, Missy Parkin, the lone female in this tournament, steps up. Missy recently married. You probably remember her better as Missy Bellender. A lot of times she made the TV show. Yeah. Come on, cross, Woman's cross. Circuit. <laughs> Alternate shot, Michael Haugen Jr. will get up and shoot the six pin. Remember the difference between this format and best ball doubles. Michael Haugen Jr. doesn't get to throw a strike ball. He has to convert the spare. Put on a little skinny jeans for that one, but able to kick it out. Yes, he is safe. So open frame. We don't know what spare balls are on this team. Strike spare in the through three frames for 900 Global. Anytime you go up against this guy, it's a tall order this season, especially. Well, no pun intended. Six foot four. Mika Koivu Niemi, a towering presence on the lanes. And you see the history he made last season. Hey, Rob, you watched the launch angle out of his hand. He used to hit up on it just a little bit with that loft and he's really worked hard on launching that ball 
a little more down into the lane and just look how clean it is out of his hand. The ball reaction, rotation, everything just meshing perfectly. He was voted the 49th greatest bowler in PBA history a few years ago. I wonder where he would stand now. Fagan, not a pretty shot there. Three, four, six, seven, ten. Uh, he come leaves on, his on. teammate with a lot of meat on that bone. Sorry. Cuts right through the heart, leaving the three, four, six, seven, ten. Amika Koivuniemi will get up and try to get the bowling ball to the right side of the three pin, throw it over into the four, seven. The bowling ball will take care of the six, ten. Like you diagrammed it. Beautiful pickup from Koivu Niemi. And a great opening start for Team Ebonite. They remain clean through four. Go PBA team. Love the reflection. How'd you like to be the the guy or gal in charge of polishing that. Yeah, no thanks. Head on over to PBA.com. You can create a custom jersey just like the ones the pros wear. Just click on Design Custom Jersey tab at the top of the site. The sculptor was beautiful, though, wasn't it? Really? Very nice. Uh, 900 Global, not having a very nice outing right now. Team Ebonite just taking the mountain back and beating them silly. Here's Mike Fagan trying to add to the advantage. Watch this swing. Oh. There's a three bagger. Mike Fagan, you look like you're dialed in now. What is it about this oil pattern that appeals to you? Well, Randy, it, it kind of allows me to play my A game. I can get in and hook it a little bit and get around it. And uh, my ball's looking really good right now. I'm happy. <laughs> no reason he shouldn't be happy. Team Ebonite having their way. The lead has now swelled to 53 as we begin the eighth. This doubles alternate shot match. Push. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite song plays in the background. One more thing. Composed and sung by. U.S. Soccer Hall of Famer Alexi Lawless. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, that's the truth, actually. Did you have any part in that song? I had a lot. I asked him to do it. <laughs> that's about it. There's Misty Parkin. Come on. Nice. Looks good. Nice strike in the eighth for Parkin. Slow start for the 900 global team. <laughs> Michael Haugen Jr., pretty good beating. I was in this position once. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> and he, it was a nice comeback, too, at the Tournament of Champions. That wasn't a dig, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Randy, what was that? No, I was going to say, you know, that this is a pretty good beating at the hands of Mika and Fagan, but is there anything that you can take away from this match, seeing how this was the first time we've seen you in this competition? Just, you know, I got to keep fighting. I mean, we're not even halfway through this competition yet, so. And, wow, the business over here is pretty rough. Um, just got to keep fighting, and, um, you know, you never know. It's a long format, and, you know, the beauty of this is no matter where you qualify, you can still run the ladder, so. Thanks, Mike. Welcome. Come on, Junior. Oh! Yeah. Well, now they're figuring things out. No, and I like the positive attitude, you know, he's like, hey, and he's had, he's had a pretty historic comeback in his career back a couple of years ago at the Tournament of Champions, but, you know, he, he's, uh, that's, that's the attitude to have. This is only one game, albeit a pretty good beating, but uh, there's a long way to go in this competition. Talk about that comeback, a 215-214 win over Chris Barnes back in 2008 at the TOC. Mike Fagan. Oh, when you're up 53, that's the time to throw that. Again. Yeah. Do it again. 
Remember back in the fourth frame, Mika made something very similar to this when Mika made the three, four, six, seven, ten that Mike Fagan left for him. This is pretty much the same exact split minus the six pin. So not a real friendly leave for his partner, Koi Buniemi. Take a look at the updated scoreboard right now through the foundation frame ninth. The lead at 33 for Ebonite. The best 900 global can shoot 212 if they strike out in the 10th frame, which means that Michael Fagan and Mika Koivuniemi need to get eight in two balls. You think it can be done? It just got done, my friend. So a strike there to open up the tent for Fagan and Team Ebonite International, and they cruise through match number five and earn five points. Fagan's teammate, Koivu Niemi, will step up. This win will push Ebonite to the top of the standings. We'll have those updated for you in a moment. But for now, we watch Jason Couch, the coach for Team Ebonite, and his competitors finish their cakewalk. Yeah, something. Yeah, awfully quiet here in the bowling center. Ten pin lounge is a fun oh, yeah. hopping place. Let's hear it. So Fagan and Koi Buniemi do it in convincing fashion with the 225. We'll hear from them when we return.